Here are some more spelling tips. Hopefully they help. So the first word that I'm going to look at is the word because. Because, that has two syllables if I tap it out, because. So the word because is a little bit unusual. So we are going to use a little saying to help us remember. And if you know a different saying, that's absolutely fine. Or if it doesn't help you, that's absolutely fine. It helps me. And so if it helps me remember them and that helps you remember them, that's fantastic. So this is the saying that I use to help me remember how to spell the word because. So all these letters down here spell the word because. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. And each letter is the start of a word in my saying. So big begins with a B, big elephants, and elephants begins with an E. Big elephants can always understand small elephants. Do you see? Big elephants can always understand small elephants. So I'll show you how that works when you write it in on a piece of paper. So I want to write the word because. Oh, I've forgotten. How do I write because? Oh, I know. I can remember that saying. Big elephants can always understand small elephants. So big, that begins with a B. Elephants begins with an E. Can begins with a C. Big elephants can always begins with an A. Understand begins with a U. Small begins with an S. Elephants begins with an E. Big elephants can always understand small elephants. So that's how I remember how to spell the word because. So hopefully you could practice that one and see if it helps you too. Okay. So the second one that I have got here is the word Wednesday. Wednesday. Now, this is how we write Wednesday. But it's actually a bit like Wednesday. That's funny, isn't it? Wednesday. Doesn't matter if it's funny and it's silly, if it helps you remember, then that's fine. So let's have a go remembering that Wednesday is a bit like Wednesday. So Wednesday. 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 Well, I've spelt Wednesday correctly. That helped me. Okay, the word friend. This is a tricky word. Can you see? That's how we spell friend. But actually, you can remember it that it's a bit like fry and end. Fry the end of your friend. Fry the end of your friend. Shall I try that one? So I want to write friend. What was the saying? Fry the end of your friend. Fry the end of your friend. I've written friend. That helped me. Now this one I like. This is a nice little saying. So we've got a big word up here. We've got beautiful. That's got three syllables. Beautiful. And it's a very long word and it's quite tricky. So you can remember like this. Mrs. B, Mrs. E, Mrs. A, U, T, Mrs. I, Mrs. F, U, L. Mrs. B, Mrs. E, Mrs. A, U, T, Mrs. I, Mrs. F, U, L. And those are all the letters in beautiful. Look, Mrs. B, Mrs. E, Mrs. A, U, T, Mrs. I, Mrs. F, U, L. OK, right, let's see if it helps me. I want to write the word beautiful. Mrs. B, Mrs. E, Mrs. A, U, T, Mrs. I, Mrs. F, U, L. Fantastic, I've spelt beautiful correctly. OK, now this next one. It's another funny one to help you remember how to spell the words could, would, should. They all have the same ending in them. OK, O-U-L-D, O-U-L-D, O-U-L-D. So you can remember these. these. This is the letter O, this is the letter U. O-U and lucky begins with an L and duck begins with a D. Oh, you lucky duck. Oh, you lucky duck. It's a bit of a silly one, but if it helps you remember, let's try and write the word should. Should. So I know it begins with a sh, and then it's got that funny ending. It's oh, you lucky duck. That's how you spell should. 